here in Santa Monica with Shadi Safadi, myself, Leonard Tio, Maciej Kuchiara, Andrew Harlick, Anthony Jones, and Ash Thorpe. And uh, yeah, tonight we're just chatting about the state of learning in the industry and uh, trying to help uh, trying to help people to get into the media entertainment concept art industry. So yeah, well, why don't we start, uh, Mache? And uh, you know, what, what what are your thoughts about about learning? How did you guys uh, get into this and in, into this crazy industry? It is crazy, right? Yeah. I mean, learn. <laughs> um, learning is interesting. Uh, I mean. When we, I feel like most of us, when we were learning, um, at least I know you, you started, uh, what, 2005-ish? Or uh, when 2007. did you start? 2007, yeah. okay. I started in 2003, uh, and that was when there was no Facebook, uh, no YouTube. Dinosaurs. Uh, oh, yeah, di <laughs> dinosaurs. Yeah, that's about right. Um, no Facebook. I started, Facebook. like, I started, I think, <laughs> in the, the worst possible place uh, from developed countries, obviously. Uh, that you could start with is uh, Poland and it's just like post-communist uh, sort of developing country with everything is just upside down pretty much and your I ideas about you know life are totally out of whack um, you're just following the, the same sort of mantra everyone is saying uh, go to the best high school go to the best college and then you know after that you you, you will have a job reality is you, you finish high, high school at best one you finish the best college and 50% of students are out of job, you know, they're, they cannot find anything. If they're lucky, they'll work for McDonald's, you know, so it's kind of really bad. Sounds uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> McDonald's is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have chosen the McDonald's way, you know, yeah. I should work for McDonald's instead of being an artist, you know. <laughs> this, this one yeah. more, more fulfilling, Imagine you know. Wrist. <laughs> how, yeah. did you know, how did you know about art? Wrist would yeah, be I mean, how did, you ca how did you know enough to know you wanted to even Well, yeah, this? I mean, been All of us have been right? driven by art in, in one way or another, you know, like your life kind of shapes depending on how you um, how you grow up, like all those aspects that are, you know, related to how you grow up and like your parents, your your mm -hmm. neighborhood, you know, people around you. What, what the one thing that maybe you're like, like a toddler, you still, still don't remember anything, but maybe there's a visual thing that happened that like in your toddler's uh, head just kind of sparked this interest, you know, that kind of developed over years. So. There must have been something for me because I, I always like like to draw, you know, and I always like to draw horrible things too. I go like go, go my go my mom I in got trouble. A lot of trouble many too. Times. Yeah, I draw the worst. Stuff I remember when I was in the, draw that ever again. When yeah. I was in the <laughs> 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 so I would draw it anyways. When I was in the um, uh, ele <laughs> elementary <Yeah>. school, <laughs> we were our assignment <laughs> was on the art class was to draw like Santa Claus, and I drew like a Santa Claus being like ripped guy with like <laughs> chainsaw and he killed like all the elves you know but like in a really of horrible course. way like the worst it was like a little blood you know? yeah the original so like pitch for my, my teachers like called my mom because like they were distressed if, if, if something in my head you know right but i was just like yeah, i'm just you know drawing all, i think all young <laughs> young guy artists do that yeah right yeah pretty sure i drew the same thing so any like all of us are pretty much driven by <laughs> art in story. some way right <laughs> <laughs> When you, but you had to know the elves. Did you see anything? Did you see anything? Yeah, wrap this up. See you guys. So, like um, movies, games. Like, what were you into? So, I I drew like a lot. I used to. I, I got into like role playing games. Uh, it, I, it has to it has to do something to do with my background, like just being in poor family. Like, you always imagine you know life you could be to. better. Like, yeah. you, you imagine your life being better, and what's the better way to do it? Just play role playing games for right, instance, imagination. You know, or like imagination. Exit reality, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I was always into that and you know I never considered art to be a thing because again I, everyone would say like you have to be a lawyer you have to be this you have to be that otherwise you're wasting your life and I remember it, I'm not blaming my parents for this but I remember it I till today like don't go to art school because you're gonna waste your life you know uh, maybe maybe if I went to art school I could, I could probably waste my life actually because <laughs> art schools in Poland are really really freaking terrible you know um, they are very like academic oriented and when you have an academic oriented fine arts sort of path but your teachers are you know someone who like his artwork or on art station would look like right oh what yeah <laughs> um yeah. then you're in trouble you right. know because uh, you're you're right. the level you're gonna reach is gonna be like really right. low yeah you right. Know? right um but in 2003, I remember that 
this uh, till today, uh, I saw like there was a commercial. Uh, there was like a bunch of commercials, and they had an interview with uh, mm. Tomek Baginski on national television. Mm. And the reason for that was because his uh, his short film that he created with Platage Image was right. nominated to uh, Academy Awards mm. for a short film. He didn't win, but it was like yeah, it was news. It was a big, it was a big thing, yeah. especially for like my country. You know, yeah. like, no, no one, no, nothing is coming out of my country. Uh, in terms of art that was like significant enough uh, especially in the, like entertainment arts you know um, but that was like a like a thing and I, I just like I saw there was a trailer for for, uh, for the cathedral and I saw it like damn like you can do this on computer like I, I always had like magic cards and like those illustrations from from like uh, yeah. Warhammer and everything right, right. But, like yeah it's probably painted somehow but mm -hmm. I never never considered that this could be digital art you know right but it was like in, in some cases, especially newer stuff, it was digital art. I was like, "Damn, we can do that!" And I was, so I started researching. I didn't even have, have a computer at mm. the time, so I went. I was going to like uh, internet cafes to, just to learn, you know. So it was just like a, just like the worst possible way to start learning because like you have literally nothing, not even a computer, no guidance, no one who can tell you like you should do this and that and that. Eventually, I've learned like there's a there's a gnome on DVDs. Mm. But you know, being a poor person, I couldn't afford like spending sixty bucks plus shipping mm. from U.S. to Poland, and I don't know how much it would take, like how long it would take. Uh, sixty bucks was a lot, of, a lot of money. I think that's what I spent on my first tablet, and I had to work like a full month for this, you know. Mm. Um, but it, you know, it's just like you just go through all the hardships, and you're learning from pretty much everyone else right. who, who's on the same level as you, right, and you're right. like pushing each other forward. And then you see like Craig Mullins and. And you right. see like uh, uh, Daniel Daniel Simon, uh, you see like uh, right. Ryan Church, right. and all those like, especially you know the, the Star Wars crew, the, right. the the Phantom Men and Star Wars crew, like they were blowing right. up. Uh, and it's just like, I will never be, I will never, yeah, I will never get there. You know? right. right. I remember that episode one book. Because yeah, that was like, a life changer. Yeah, you just when I saw Ian like, McKegg's drawings and I saw the Dermot Power sketches yeah, and right. the Ryan yeah. stuff, I was like, holy shit! That was goodness. huge. It was right. an query for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, that's from uh, before. That I didn't even know who Ralph McQuarrie. Like, who, I didn't know who that is. Like, yeah. right. let alone like all all the other so, artists that have been there. Like, so, I've learned that like really late because I was never exposed to this. You know. Right. Yeah. So was so, there like this aha moment? Like, I mean, would you guys all agree like that there's this aha moment when you realize that wait a minute, like people actually make a living doing this stuff. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you definitely. Know, yeah. Of yeah. course. For my parents, it was that art center mm -hmm. existed. Right. Because when we went to that school, it's so cool. It's like cool looking and it looks it's professional. School. It's just yeah. professional looking. So I, I remember when I did tours with my dad, he was like not 100% on the art thing. But when he saw that school, he was like, I okay, serious, I yeah. can see how if this institution exists, then maybe yeah, this is valid. serious. Yeah. 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 Right. That was a different era too, though, don't you say? Like, it's mm. still very powerful of an institution. Sure. It's one of the only ones I think it's recognized still as being a place where you can go and get. A pretty amazing, uh, like and jump was, in your. And it was interesting how the architecture of that place is so beautiful from an aesthetic perspective, and so mm -hmm. dramatic and intense that yeah. it it reeks of power. I mean, whoever designed it had that in mind, but sure. like it has that feel, and so right. it convinced my dad that to drop it, the money to spend on Art Center. I've mean, now had a different life. I had every single thing handed to me. I'm like him. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yeah. So it's been great. That's still yeah. great, but I mean that's cool. That no, you I've learned about nothing. Art Center <laughs> well, 2005 or 2007, yeah, and right. I was like, I was yeah, like for you. I was trying to like figure out like, oh, I, I want to go to Art Center, yeah. you know. The but there's like, oh, you have to get visa. Like, oh, it's yeah. just like what a lot of money, right? I'm what? Like, how 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 on earth I'm supposed to like afford this, you know? Well, the irony so it was is, never it was never like a, an option for me. The irony is after I became a pro for a long time, I kind of wasn't not checking in on other artists. The first person I saw that was like, holy crap, was your stuff. Talking about Mark, uh, Ralph McQuarrie and all that. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I saw your stuff that I was like, photos and painting? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Like someone can do this and not have it look terrible. And I, your stuff was the first stuff that convinced me that that could even work. I mean, there have been other artists that... There are, but I was head in the sand. Yours was the first I saw, I remember, because I wasn't paying attention. And then you got hired, and I'm like, what the hell is that guy doing? <laughs> he had to be sitting next to me for me to look at it. <laughs> That's cool. It's yeah. always, I love those moments, though, when you can find... When you find another artist that opens that pathway in your head. Right, Like yeah. For me, it was like Ralph McQuarrie and, and, and wanting that book. I remember going to the bookstore. I was a kid, and I wanted that book so badly. It was The Art of Star Wars. 
uh, A New Hope, but Empire Strikes Back, which is my favorite one, obviously. Right, right. Um, and I remember seeing that and, and just freaking out. I wanted it so bad. My birthday was coming up, and I just I just bugged my mom every day. She finally got right. it for me. It's like a changing turning point because I would look in there and I go, "Wow, these were drawings before they came to the film." Yeah. And I realized I, I deciphered it in my head, and I realized I always wanted to do art, but I realized from that moment that I wanted to work in feature films because that's magic yeah yeah it's beautiful but let's dig on dig in on that right so from that point on how did you train and equip yourself to you know uh, to get ready for that uh, to for the industry um, well I think talking about humble beginnings like so there's no training really I remember being really poor I was raised by a single mom so just get like a box and you know and a book and you draw on that and then you just use type paper that she'll bring home from work you know and just completely fill that up so it was always um, one baby step in front of the other until you can get that one first break and then you go from there and then constantly being humbled by the reality that yeah. it's very hard and it's always going to be somewhat of a struggle but like going through each motion and enjoying each step so as far as gearing myself up it's just been about working really hard and wanting it beyond everything and studying and being optimistic you know, yeah I, like to piggyback off of what you're saying like um, I get asked all the time like what's the secret type of questions like what, what should I use how should I use it what, what brush yeah what brush what is brush? a very, yeah. very popular <laughs> one <laughs> most and, uh, yeah, like, what brush, brush that be yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like they always ask and, and, and let's be clear here you know like different brushes and different tools are sure. absolutely useful absolutely right yeah. like you, you you can't like build an ikea chair just with that little element you, if you have a power drill it's so much faster yeah right and i also think certain brushes not to get too off topic yeah. bring out yeah. certain mark making in you absolutely yeah. like they, they're like they have a different life the tool like a, you know it's easier to hammer in a, a nail with a hammer rather than your fist right, right, right. like it's more oh, impressive really? sure <laughs> like i hammered in my fist <laughs> but i mean only a few people were impressed and now you're right. in the circus right it's not consistent you can't do that yeah. forever right yeah. and um but to kind of get back to what i was saying like people ask those types of questions a lot and i try not to discourage them and i think there's like a habit amongst you know Professionals, like, oh, it's not about that. It's not about that. Sure. Um, I think uh, I think it's important for anyone who's paying attention to this is that, like, I, I didn't know. I had no idea. Like, I I didn't know. Okay, well, I better follow you know like step number two, and then that way when I'm done, mm. I'm gonna succeed. You know, right. like I had no idea. Like I yeah. I think a lot of the times people are trying to avoid failure, mm. but I'm trying to say it's like that's. Part, part of it. Part of it. Yeah. It's, it's like, okay to it's fail. Like absolutely. It's the worst thing yeah. to do. Avoid failure. Yeah. Like how, how are you supposed to learn when you're never going to adjust? Failing, right? Yeah. You're right. like you're, you're, if you're never. Not, yeah. If you're not failing, you're not realizing your mistakes. If you're not realizing yeah. your mistakes, we all you're fail not taking all lessons, the time. You know? We just n don't necessarily share it. You yeah. Know? Um, sure. That's a difference too. I think that's important and valid to bring up. Is you yeah. do studies, I do studies. We all do studies, and I think we don't necessarily show that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, like if I had like if I have shown about a thousand images over my career. There's like ten thousand images that nobody has ever seen. Same, yeah. Same. Right? Yeah. And there's gonna, it's always gonna be that way. It's yeah, gonna be a ratio. thousand that are gonna be shown, and like, I think, ah, this is actually pretty good. It's getting better as you go. Opposed to like the now. ten thousand. You, you have an, you guys all, all of you have an attitude of like, I'm not doing another thing. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's important to have the luxury to not have any other options. You had it a lot harder than I did for sure, but like, I, there was no option. I was going to do this whether it was going to take me my whole life or whether it was going to take three years yeah. or five years, there was never a point where I was going to be like, well, that didn't work out. I think I'm just going to like work yeah. at McDonald's. That was never an option. Yeah, mm. sure. And I think anyone, I no matter how small the steps are, no matter how much you suck, sure. if you really love the art and you have an aesthetic that you care about and you're looking at other artists, it's impossible for you not to succeed eventually, at least. You're not even thinking about it. You're not even thinking about it. Yeah, you're yeah. just trying to get better at art. Yeah, and your, your intention is very clear. Yeah, I'm going to get better at art. And if yeah. you get yeah. get rid of all the other noise about job and who's going to hire me and what connections I have, yes. and just get better at art, the opportunities are just going to come to you, no doubt, because people yeah. need talent. Exactly, mm -hmm. and they're going to hire you for that, yeah. and they're going to be aware of that. And that's I always tell people when they're asking me how about jobs and day rates and all that stuff, I said, that's great to talk about, but the most important thing you should be focusing your energy on is you and your skill. 
everything else just comes in spades totally. easily. You can make as much money as you want. Once you pass a certain level, yeah. people want you. Yeah. And Once you, you pass that level. Then there's there's too many people wanting you. Yeah. And then you have to deal with that, you know? Like right. too much success. Yeah. You know? And that's a whole mind fuck of it its own, yeah. you know? Yeah. Whole different discussion. Yeah. Like preparing yeah. for success. Yeah. yeah. Cause it, it will happen. Like you said, like it, it's- Especially uh, if your intention's clear. You know? Yeah. Uh, I always compare it to like physical activity because I think with physical activity, people can see the very clear. Like if I want to run faster, I run a lot more. Right, yeah. and then I, hey, look, I ran like a second faster than I did last week, whatever. And people keep stacking that, and then eventually you'll be like an Olympic runner, right? But with art, like I guess people because it's so subtle, right? Yeah, it's like very you don't see it immediately. It's like, like watching plants I'll grow. Do, or something. One of my favorite things to do is like I have a class and I teach, and then like what I do is like sometimes my students have that doubt, and they're like, I don't know, and sure. I, I show them their first week mm. homework to like their third week, and I'm like, you can't tell me that you haven't learn something right. sure I was yeah. like it, it could be like an inch but this is proof that you've improved yeah yeah you yeah. know at least have faith in that and I was like that's that's the point it's like inch by inch mm -hmm. right and you know inch what's interesting inch. you yeah, with good. that blank canvas in Photoshop is all there will ever be yeah. yeah so if you're working right now and you're distracted by something else just keep in mind for me it helped me to suddenly realize like even if I won an Oscar for concept art the next day I would come home and I would still just be blank canvas Photoshop it's yeah. you in Photoshop or whatever program you're using and it will never change. So just find a passion yeah. for that in the moment, and that's it, because it won't be anything else ever. And it's important to understand that relationship and that symbiotic relationship you must have with that blank canvas, you yeah. know, and understanding what you're putting out there. And it's going to hurt every that. time. It's going to be a struggle every time for the rest of your life. It is. I always like, you know, even, even now we can, can consider ourselves to be, you know, somewhat professional or somewhat successful in, in our fields. And even, even now, like when you start a project, you, you open Photoshop, it's a blank canvas. You're scared like, every time. Yeah, you have that feeling like, where are I going to start with? Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> or what if everything else was fake and now it's right. like, I'm going to be found out to suck? Because all how, those other how things. How often do you guys have this yeah. moment where, yeah. like, That's you know, you, you did some, you did something for like a project, and uh, and you're, like you you you're really happy with this, you know, and then you're starting doubting yourself, like, mm. will I be able to pull it off again? Maybe mm. it was like a one one you know mm. one thing one time thing. Uh, it happens a lot, you know, and that's just because there's in our nature, you know, because when you're when you're really focused on or pushing, yeah, you're pushing, yeah, right? Yeah. If you if you really focus on what you're doing, you're always gonna have self doubt. You're always gonna, you know, fail. Failure failures hurt. That's the worst thing that can happen. But you have to realize that you have to go through failures, and you, you're never gonna learn if you're not. You know? But also, you do something I've noticed a lot of you do, where you're always trying to learn a new thing. So you right. never get to be safe. That's You're true. always out there on the frontier. Yeah. There's tons of artists that find a thing that they do and then they just stick to that and they, right. they're like, oh, finally, I just got here. Sure, yeah. But if you're the kind of person who's always learning a new thing, especially now in this environment where concept art is part 3D, part all this new software, hybrid, yeah. part all this crap that you're constantly having to learn, you're never safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just you have to be in the, this mindset that this is not uh, achievement based. Uh, if you are just pursuing your, you know, if you if, if it's only about get, getting achievements, sure. then you're doing a wrong thing. Right, I think so. Because yeah, you're yeah. gonna reach that reach that point where you you're achieved something, and you're gonna feel empty. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. there's no nothing else in front of you. Right. That's that's to start with. But also, once you achieve something, you're sitting in that place, yes. and it, it, it like it's 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 this saying that if you if you stand in, still, you're actually moving backwards. You mm -hmm. know. You're actually not progressing. You're actually, uh, you know, moving backwards. You're, take, you're taking slow steps uh, back because not only you're not uh, pushing yourself to learn something new, but also uh, you're deteriorating your own craft. You're just getting so used to what you do that you stop caring about details that you would normally care when you're trying to achieve something. Or you you know, have when that you're pushing, fear, that fear. yeah, when you're pushing, you have that fear. You have that, you know, feeling that it's not perfect yet. I want to add like a little more detail. I want to, I want to create it better, right? I want to just push it, but you're not. You're like, oh, I'm in this comfortable space. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, I just zone out, right? Yeah. And yeah. That's Which the, I think that's is why all artists do. need like their own, their own personal work time, because when you get start working at a job or a company, right. you're constantly required to do stuff on deadline. You also kind of like get caught into a routine and you don't get to experiment because you don't have the time or, yeah. so it's important to like have your sort of like pieces that you're doing on your own. That's when you get a chance to really it's, like try It's shit. intimidating because, yeah, first of all, like failing hurts. And it's also like there's so many things mm. that like, you feel like intimidated, but well, you also have supporting your family. And, yeah, I mean, you know, even taking away like just you know your livelihood, just just the fact that 
you have this thing that's always going to scare you, in, in, like right. in, in the matter. Like it's not going to be the scariest thing on earth because you know well, you could be in the worst, though. way worse circumstances. Yeah, it's all manifested within yourself. Uh, yeah. But like from your pers personal perspective, uh, you're always going to fear fear about something. And mm. if you don't have that, if you're too, if you're overconfident, then you're not moving forward. You're not. You're losing that the drive to to progress. Mm. The worst thing, the worst thing, is to achieve a success without hard work, because mm. th then you're not, not enjoying it at all. Because right. you didn't go through the journey of achieving that thing. Right. It's not about the goal that you that you're trying to reach. It's mm. about the journey that you that you're in mm. towards that goal. Right. That's where the most thing happens. That when you when you have your friends, that's when you learn things. Yeah. That's where where the me your memories are. Right. right. Yeah. When you're watching a football game, right, yeah. or, or a soccer game, yeah. we, we obviously interested by the, on the score. But we're, you're not talking about the score. You're talking about that action that happened. You know, did you yeah. see how how he saved it? You know, yeah. or that foul? Yeah. What an asshole! Like, yeah. <laughs> right? The, the you're talking about those things, right? Yeah. The most interesting games are the ones where they're kind of close, right? Like yeah. sometimes if you watch the Super Bowl and one team just dominates, the, like the Super Bowl is literally like one team is like. 50 points ahead. Yeah. Like, it's the most boring game ever. But, yeah. like, one team, like, truly succeeded. They, like, dominated. Mm -hmm. It right? says a lot about you know, right? our mankind culture. And yeah. Just, you know, we like we like the the tug of war. Like, I like mm -hmm. the games where, uh, during halftime, one team had, like, maybe two touchdowns ahead. Sure. But the other team somehow came back. Right. Yeah. Like, those yeah, are the games that people talk about. Those are the game of things that we care about. We care about... Like, like you said, the journey, the, the, yeah. the exploration. I, I tell my students all the time, like, the, the best times of my art, artistic growth was in the beginning. Mm. When I was, like, when I knew nothing mm. about anything. And I was just, like, constantly, like, what? This is the thing? You can do that? And you can do that? Like, it's a, it's a, it's like a slope. Like, it's like a, it starts off like a really steep slope. Yeah, honeymoon and then phase. it starts to, yeah. starts to, like, when you start to get yeah. more and more professional and you get more and more adapted to your tools, it starts to yeah even yeah, out and it yeah. stops becoming like a hobby mm -hmm. it starts becoming a job right, right. Yeah. and that's what you're saying like you get to do personal stuff because yeah, personal stuff idle. takes you out of the job mentality mm -hmm. and puts you back into like i want to actually learn like you know fusion because it's freaking awesome mm -hmm. or yeah. i want to learn unreal because it looks like that's a really cool place to do I'll, like why not like why not try this or what well, i'm going to try to paint this now i've never painted this before and it hurts yeah. every time you're going to open yeah. like you open like fusion and be like oh again yeah, another you, thing yeah. well, i like have a, to do i already learned horizon. like three things like how many <laughs> things do i have to learn yeah, yeah, yeah. for infinity and i do it only because fucking mache did it <laughs> <laughs> okay, and he posts some shit on facebook and i'm like i need to not get on facebook yeah, yeah. facebook is great for that reason and yeah, art station yeah. too is because you're just like constantly exhausted yeah then inspired yeah. by everyone's stuff. Right, yeah. yeah. Your first reaction is like, I'm never going to be able to do that. Yeah. But right. then you start like digest this yeah. idea. I want everyone to just slow down. I'm just yeah. like, stop doing such awesome It's never going to happen. <laughs> <though>. like, <laughs> it's going to always progress. Yeah, it's so. crazy. Like Glenn Keen was doing that thing in VR. Yeah. Drawing. Have you used the vibe? It's, like, it's unbelievable. I used it at a studio down the street. It's like unbelievable, that program. I want to I wanna try. If you get a chance to get a hold of it, you're not in Seattle, the Vive. The okay. Valve's like VR system. Oh, okay. They, I try to put on their headset, and it's like they have a painting program where oh, you can wow. make 3D. It's like it's unbelievable. Okay. That's what I'm saying, man. I can't wait. 3D painting. I mean, I you, wait, yeah. I don't know if you can actually use it to make anything, but like it's fun. So we're talking about the day and age where we would make 2D images. <laughs> Seriously, right? Yeah, in right. the future, yeah. it's going to be dimensional. Put and a 3D VR thing on and like create yeah. sculpt something. Or manifest <laughs> games or situational yeah. experiences. To, yeah, to your so, point, yeah. like I, I was talking to like an old school traditional sculptor who mm -hmm. transitioned to 3D because like, you know, that job was dying and sure. he's like, ah, you know, I still do traditional sculpts and I'm thinking about like, you know, going more and more into like ZBrush and like Redbox mm -hmm. and all these other tools and I was like, he said, honestly, you could probably get back to your traditional sculpting because right, yeah. eventually the, the tools are going to be so good yeah, yeah. The that that and actual like your ability and, or even just like building something yeah. in in real life yeah. you have like these 3d scanners right yeah. now it is it literally is a 3d thing right. yeah yeah using yeah. your Let's bridge the gap your, yeah like the, yeah i tell my students to avoid tools yeah. like as the most important thing to worry about like That's you true. should definitely worry about tools because they're always changing yeah. but you should worry about like the basics, yeah. the basics, the foundational stuff, yeah. right? That's always exactly. a hard thing to hear, because, you know. When because you're the tools, student, though, you're like, I just want to go <laughs> and I want to know what brush you're using. Or <laughs> yeah. 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 I do, I do want to know what brush 
motherfucker's been using. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> don't, I, I don't, 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 don't not tell me what brush you're using. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. Also, give me the brush. Yeah. yeah. I, I, agree with that. I think you should know, right? And I, I'm trying to say too. At the same time, like the tools are becoming easier and easier and easier. For right. instance, my buddy, he's a rigger, and he was like talking to me about learning some art. Like he's like, I want to learn how to draw and design. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay, why? And he's like, well, like I just downloaded this new software. And I mean, it's still kind of like basic, but right. eventually, like, I'll be out of the job. Like, this is just so easy. You just plug stuff in, hit go, and it's rigged. Is that Mixio yeah. or whatever? whatever. Right. Uh, no, there's some other software, no, but uh, very yeah. similar. They, they're yeah. doing that already. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Do you guys it's, think certain technologies, though, make certain types of art making obsolete? Uh, I don't think no, so. That's I think, impossible. I think the best people always surface, you know? Yeah. I think, like, the sculptor guy, right? So, yeah. Take that well, guy. Oil paint. People still oil paint. Are they yeah. shred at oil painting? And they have their niche, and they just yeah. they rock at it, and then they can just focus on that. Or you can say like, I think the thing that we all admire about like a guy like Craig Mullins is he would take the traditional medium, and prove it that it works in a different domain. Mm. Yeah, we have a Mache is showing you take the photos and you could bring it into a whole different realm, and then add like the Daz 3D stuff and the marvelous designer, and you can build complete like three dimensional pieces, and that's taking it to the next level. Sure. But I don't think it diminishes the value of the original intention. No. I think the original, like the original piece, is still really great. Right. I just think that there's a value shift, but it's not necessarily like this is crap, this is better. It's right. more like these are both. Like awesome. someone with fundamentals is way better than technology stuff. Yeah. I mean, some things yeah. will become obsolete eventually, like sure. you know, UV, UVs or rigging, or you know, those are very the mechanical. Very, very, very mechanical. Very or, mechanical. or even like Daz, I, I I see it. We use that a lot now, and it's a posing program, right? For to, mm. you know, having figures in our shots, and like, yeah. if I knew a guy who could draw the figure out of his mind with perfect anatomy, that'd be cool. But we have Daz now, so exactly. like, I, it's point, like right? those skills are yeah. awesome to have. And mm. if we were dis actually designing muscle on a person, that person would be the person. But if the job was just to design a costume on a figure and it didn't matter, mm -hmm. then that's replaced yeah. that person. You know what I mean? An interesting observation about that is like, let's say you take a guy like Otomo, for example, who drew the masterpiece Akira and it's a masterpiece of art accomplishment. Um, if he had Daz, would that affect the way he created? And I think guys like Ralph McQuarrie, guys that make, you know, like Boba Fett and all these different things. Their imagination, that translation of making something by just drawing straight, right. either line, their intention. What's the difference? You know, there's got to be a shift in the mental path in order to create this stuff. Is it going to be? It's different. Is it better or worse? That's, that's right. And I think debate, I've you know? noticed with my team, it's like every single job is different. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing something that's more like be. blizzardy, then you're going to need the line because you need to design the shapes. But if yeah. you're doing something that's more like a Navy SEAL. You don't need those shapes as much. Sure. You need the believability. So yeah. depending on the challenge, the tools and technology, and that's the thing we struggle with the most, right. which combination of things out of this huge, ever-expanding skill set are right. the right ones to effectively solve this problem? Right. And, yeah. and for movies like Star Wars that have everything designed, that's always the dream, be sure. jobs to work on, because yeah. you know you're going to have a lot of both. Yes, yeah. and that's but the, some IPs don't have a lot of both. They just have mostly one. Right, it's very true. And coming back to a point of like you know foundation, right? Like all those tools are giving you preset. Exactly. And yeah. if you're just following preset, your work will be just a preset. You know, yeah. you're not having your own input right. into this. It's vital. like what you're saying about Akira and Otomo. You know, yeah. it's a, it's a very personal style, right. and you cannot recreate that in uh, in in, uh, in yeah. Daz. Like you could, you could possibly recreate it right. in three right. D. Right. But you need to have designed it with you the have same to designer design sensibility. Yeah. yeah. But you, you have to change about a guy proportions. Who's manifesting an entire world with pen yeah. and paper. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. That you have Da Vinci's, I can go into that, you know, it's like you have a, a brilliant mind with intention. Yeah. Right. It's the same thing. Because he, you still have humans that yeah. have intention, they're brilliant. But, exactly. Yeah. But I think it's just to go onto the tools. It blows me away because, like, I'm going to be starting to learn from you for learn, the Learn Square thing. And, yeah. and looking at the way that you build images, mm. it's really inspiring for me because it's a completely different creative path. Right. It's yeah. a different process altogether, it's a different alchemy. Yeah. And I think the results are going to. They're always going to yield something different. It's new, right? So Especially when one badass or a couple badasses are doing. You have it a battalion like, that sets the bar, and you're like, right. "Well, fuck! Now yeah, I gotta be like, <laughs> how would I so, get there?" So, you know? like, yeah, like, a good friend of ours, right? Like, yeah. Vitaly Bulgarov, like amazing, amazing um, artist. Um, I remember I had a student once ask me. He was like, "He's like, you know, should I learn 3D or should I learn start in 2D?" Mm. He's like, "Cause I want to make sure I get my foundations." And I was like, "What makes you think you can't get your foundations in 3D?" You know, yeah, like why don't what, I was like, why don't you why don't think you can do that? And he's like, I don't know. Like I was like, let, let's be clear here. Yeah, of course, drawing it from hand requires you to really know a lot more. 
but you can still know that stuff without drawing. Like yeah. people, like movie directors, have like great artistic vision, and they don't know how to draw, right? Mm -hmm. And and I was like, Vita so I brought up Vitaly. I was like, but Vitaly, for instance, I've never seen him draw. I'm sure he's okay at it, but he doesn't need to draw. Right. And, and then I you have another image. artist like Aaron Beck who doesn't know how to use 3D. Yeah. yeah. And all his designs are like, I, I've seen some of his, they're like, I mean, he built a car. Yeah. Yeah, he he's been building a car right. for four years from scratch, so he yeah. knows how every single part works. Yeah. Yeah. And a student, if a student was asking me, yeah. should I go do it like Aaron Beck, I'm like, I don't know if you'll ever be that good. You know, like there's yeah. some legends, <laughs> yeah. there's some yeah, legends right. that took such the long road around and are such an inspiration, yeah. but if someone was asking me, I'd be like, yeah, if you want to wait 20 years. Also, yeah. the alchemy of working at Weta alongside with Greg and, and Pierce and all those amazing yeah. guys, I think that spawns greatness, you know? Right. Yeah. I think that's what we're, we're trying right? to create as well, you know? like the feedback loop is so strong and so direct that we're getting instant feedback from one another to be right. better. And I think that's very important. The first yeah. studio that I actually worked at was Prologue and it was very intense. Right. So the most amazing work I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know that work could be that good until I was there. And it was work that never saw the light of day. Right. And it blew me away because it was like the most amazing inspirational things. And I realized that's where I need to be. Right. I'm here in my consciousness. I need to go there. And that's only yeah. established by people that are pushing. You see hard. them up there and you're like, how did you get up there? Yeah. yeah. But they had been doing it for seven years, just uh, nonstop. Right. So, you like, know? you always, hard. Yeah, you always have these, like, um, like prodigies is what they call them, right? And they exist for sure. But, like, you have to investigate mm. because it's still the same things are true. For instance, sure. um, Mozart, like he composed a song, mm. uh, like a whole song by himself at the age of three, yeah. right? And so people are like, oh, this clearly talented kid, mm. right? Situation and too. I remember my buddy did that because I was telling him, I don't believe in the word talent. And he's like, well, what about Mozart? Right? He pulled that on me and right, I was yeah. like, yeah, what about Mozart? So I went and researched it. I was like, I want to know. Like, mm. I want to know what made Mozart Mozart. And I figured it out. I was like, okay. I came back and I was like, look, it's not all talent because his, both his parents were the greatest, one of the greatest musicians of that time. Yeah. So there his you sister, go. His situation. sister was older. What if he was like a kid in Vietnam or something? Like, it, it might have been different. It would have been yeah, different. Well, it might have. It would have been different. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're right. It would have been completely different. Yeah. Yeah. You would have probably been like, I, I don't want to go there. But you're right. It would have been so, so different. I was going to say shaved coconuts, but I have no idea. <laughs> no, that's all that stuff. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah. But like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they have tuck tucks. Yeah, he's, he still figures it out. Um, so like he, so like he, he had two parents who were great musicians. Right. His older sister was already like like becoming a musician. His dad was a great instructor as well. well he made it fun yeah. for his kids to learn go. how to play music really right. well. That's interesting. Right. Yeah. And so at that. the age of three, yeah. like if you have like a Natural. year with yeah. around music with some yeah. of the greatest instructors yeah. of yeah. music, yeah. and you actually enjoy it. Right. That's like another part. Like you actually, right. like if kids enjoy what they're doing, and exactly. like my daughter's drawing better yeah. because she enjoys. It. I make fun of her drawings in the way where she laughs at it. Right. Yeah. Like we laugh She's at her failures. Right. I'm like, hey, like yeah. that kind of looks like a squirrel, and I start like, yeah. like, like you're supposed to draw a turtle, and yeah. I was like, act like uh, this that's poor actually, squirrel. That's actually true because my grandma helped me teach. When I hear Mache stories, I'm always like, that's amazing because I live 20 minutes from GDC yeah, when yeah. I was like in high school. So yeah, I, yeah. I was like right next to where the stuff yeah. was happening. So like, right. so circumstances, right? Like yeah, he yeah, would have yeah, never saw that. He probably would have probably, never. Been, yeah. yeah. If you never saw that teaser, would have been oh, that's so true. Moves. Like when you when you're speaking about Mozart, like yeah. just just the fact that he was in a very talented family, and he like from the day one yeah. he was mm. born, he heard music all the time. Yeah. So, ch child as a, is a blank canvas, right? And it was yeah. already like encrypted right. into I mean, his, his. He learned right. languages at that age, right? Yeah, right? exactly. So yeah. his language is already like music. music. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, already exactly. in there. He's so, like composing. So you guys have started this new thing. Uh, the, Learn squared, mm. and we talked uh, quite a bit about you know the about learning and the, the learning path. How you know it, there's it's bound with failure and it's fine you know, yeah. and you just keep going. And, uh, yeah. and and we talked about the, the importance of fundamentals as well and all the technology and everything. Yeah. How so? And, and also from learning from one another. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, that's pretty key. So how are you guys incorporating all of this into in, into your new venture? It's an honest approach, I think. Yeah. I think it's a very dear and honest approach that we are just trying to teach one another something in the most honest of ways. And we're open to the idea that we're gonna fail mm -hmm. and the world's gonna watch it yeah. and we're okay with that because we know internally that we're gonna succeed out of it yeah. and that we're gonna achieve something greater. We're gonna become greater people. And that exchange we're trying to really show the world that if you're out there and you are the person that I meet on the street and says, I used to draw, 
well, I want you to understand that you can if you want to. Like anybody can, and anybody can learn and grow. And, and we want to show that. Yeah, we really want to like we want to like convince people that becoming an artist shouldn't be laughed at, right? Like it, it, it almost is, though. It, right now, yeah, it, it, it is right. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, here's 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 kind of like yeah. I'll, I'll kind of like get into what like a metaphor for what we're doing is you know a lot of education now. Is, is, is really backwards and it was built it was built for a reason and that reason has it still exists but for the mass population it doesn't really apply you know like the idea of okay you go to preschool then you go to elementary school then you go to middle school then you go to college then you get a job and then you get a promotion and then you get another promotion and then you retire Wait, and then you die that's yeah. right why <laughs> and then that's like that's what we're selling our children and I, I have two teenagers um, one teenager just graduated high school, and he graduated high school the same way that I graduated. Had no clue what the hell I was gonna do, right? I had no clue, and I it took me like four years to discover what I really like had an opportunity to do, which was art, right? Like before that, I was like a musician. I like to play like uh, guitar, right? And in school, like music and arts and all that stuff was treated kind of like oh, it's just an extra activity. But as kids, it wasn't, right? As kids, it was like mandatory. Like you needed to draw and color in if the lines. You could draw as a kid. You were yeah. a killer too. Like yeah, you were like the they, cool yeah. cat in class too. But they were like in the, when we were really young, it was kind of forced. And sure. And I think a lot of us had that same kind of mentality, like right. after school. Maybe not Shadi. Shadi already knew, right? right? But not everybody <laughs> had that. Blood. No, like one of my students is like 19 or I've 18, known too. and he's I've like Shadi. Like he knows. He yeah. like knows what concept of art is already. Yeah. He knows all the big names already. He's already 18, right? Yeah. He's already yeah. figured it out. And I'm Sorry. like, I told him, I was like, you don't know how awesome you're gonna be. Yeah, because you you're already, yeah, you're weird. already guys, so aware. Like, yeah. Just popped out recently, like the, the guy we're, we're gonna actually have him on the art cafe. Oh, Adon. Uh, yeah, and, uh, I talk about that again a little and, bit too. Uh, Ephlem, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like all those, uh, yeah, yeah. All those, yeah, children. Yeah, I've hired, I've hired children. Wait a minute. I don't know what their laws are. I told you he's gonna be liable. Yeah, I don't know what their laws are in Poland. Who cares? It's Poland. Yeah, but that's that's the point. Like, yeah. because because they already knew maybe maybe the circumstances that yeah. they were in you know maybe right. there was a person in their household or, right. or friends that were encouraging them or right. encouraging them do art because you're great at it right. uh, and you'll be even better if you, right. if you just do it right. and um, and that, that works like yeah it all it's all about circumstances and things that are around you there is right. actually an example I always forget his name but uh, there's this one guy who's a, who's a, who's a surgeon he's a, he's a He's uh, he's operating on hearts. Like he he used to operate on hearts. He was one of the best in Germany, mm -hmm. and he was like, you know, after medical schools. Like medical school is like your your almost whole life. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. So it's very he, I long. think he was at the age of thirty or like forty something right. when he was like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I, I really like drawing because I do it as a hobby. Let's right. make it a career. Right. And granted, he's working for films right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and he's forty something. It, it, yeah. it doesn't matter Sign when you start. Sure, I can't totally do it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's just a matter of starting yeah. and then being consistent. But he's already a brilliant yeah. person that probably right. that's already has an established understanding of yeah. how to yeah. be a doctor. The hard, which is, yeah. the hard yeah. work is really hard. The, the hard work, hard work. Ingredient, yeah. Right? Yeah. So the ingredient that yeah. he already has that yeah. he knows hard work brings yeah. results. Oh, shit, I'll just so. keep I didn't become an artist until way after Art Center. Art Center, I just I just messed around and I was terrible. Student? I was t terrible because I wasn't ready. I wasn't yeah. ready to be that person who knows how to how have to work. How did you know you ready? Uh, like when, I, did, when was this? I week? mentioned this before. I almost got fired from Naughty Dog. Oh, okay. And that was my wake-up call. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was kind of coasting, and I did an okay job. Those are important moments. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, right. they brought me in. They're like, you got two weeks. And another concept guy got fired like, like six months prior. Okay. And we were just not adapting to the style, right. realistic style. And I and I was like, oh crap. And I was like, buckle down, let's do this. Yeah. I kind of I I let's do okay do under that kind of pressure, but I never had that pressure before because I right. wasn't like you. I didn't grow up with like a potato in a cabin. The pressure. <laughs> We call, we call him the potato. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The Polish potato. That's pretty much so, like what I am. So, <laughs> yeah, we got to wrap up the, the conversation, but what would be your, your biggest, um, you know, the, your, your takeaway, you know, for, uh, for, for this conversation as far as, um, as far as learning is concerned? Yeah. I think if I had to, like, put a finger on it, I, w I would say don't be afraid of, like, the journey, you know? I think, like, one thing I, I always find my students is always doubting, right? They're yeah. always like, oh, what if I don't get a job? What if I, like, you, like you're saying. Right. And I, I say, okay, what if you don't get the job? 
What if what if you uh, what if uh, you don't get money in time for your visa? What if all these things happen? What if the most like the the ter- all your worst nightmares came true? Mm. Are you gonna quit then? And they're like, no. So then, what are you afraid of? Yeah. Yeah, so right. What, so so what, you, what are you afraid, afraid of? of? Yeah. yeah, it's like because that right. could happen. Right. Unless we're, we're pretending right. that it's happening. Right. And we were put we put you in that situation, and you you said no. So yeah. then I said, okay, keep going. Like keep going. Because now you're prepared right. for that because it could yeah. happen. Right. But now you're prepared. You're 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 gonna be like, okay, well that's just one step. And I tell I tell my students all the time that once that happens too, like when you get to that moment, like you did almost when you get fired yeah. or, or you're like being a janitor, right? Yeah. Like when you get to those moments. That's really where, like, the fork of the road, like, there is a choice. Instead of coasting, yeah. like you said, there is a now a definitive choice. Those are great. Right? And yeah. you make that choice. And you're going to come to another, you're going to be coasting, and then you're going to find another fork. Right. And then you're going to choose. So it's really yeah. that constant journey and being not afraid of the outcome is, is really, really liberating, yeah. right? Because then you, you allow yourself to trip and fall. You allow yourself to, like, yeah. bump your head. And you know? more easy opportunities now. Yeah. I have ki- like kids who work, who live in some remote place like you were. If you, if it wasn't 2003, if it was 2015, and I saw your work, I'd be like, do you want to work on something tomorrow? Yeah. Like yeah. the world is global now. Yeah. Yeah. That only happened six years ago. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it only happened six years ago. Any kid, any person from anywhere on the face of the earth make with us, I can hire them tomorrow and they can yeah. start working. Yeah. Yeah. They can make a good living doing so. Exactly. Totally. Yeah, and support yeah. their families and yeah. totally. do it off and of the Geography yeah. doesn't, doesn't matter as much. Yeah. Visas don't matter as much. Everything's changing. Yeah, yeah everything yeah. is changing. It's, so, it's beautiful. Yeah, so don't be afraid. So there is no failure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, there's, there's, always always there's tons of failures. Right. No, just it's, always it's a, a result. Is, it's a result. Yeah, if you're not going to give up, if yeah. you're not yeah. going to work in yeah. hot topic, yeah. you're like, it's, I'm not working on hot yeah. topic no matter what, then yeah. yeah. You know. yeah. I would say like on top of that, it would be just, just be consistent, you know? Yeah. Like, even, so, uh, you know, you could break it down and say, like, I don't have time. Yeah. yeah. Always, that's the always the best excuse, right. I don't have time. Yeah. But the, the truth is, you always find time. You just yeah. have to look at your habits during the day. What do you do during the day that you don't have time? I even found scheduling work, really helps a lot too. It helps my life a yeah, lot. Yeah. Yeah. Schedule even blocks if you work time. full time, even if, even if you have to commute. Yeah, to there's work. always time. In the day. Even if, let's say you have two work, you know, two jobs, right? Uh, what do you do when you come come back home? Are you watching TV or, or, or how do you spend that time? You can always sketch during that time, right? If, even if it's a half an hour during the day, imagine how many hours you'll be right. into sketching. Yeah. At the end of the year, it's right. gonna be just amazing amount of hours, and they they, they amount, right? Right. That's great. And, and here's the great thing: as 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 soon as you see results, yeah, you feel more positive about yourself, right? Mm. You so feel small like, wins. oh damn, I, I can yeah. I, I can see progress. Very exactly. Small. And it just compounds mm. on everything else, yeah. Because all of a sudden, your whole life changes. Yeah. Like all those things compound. Yeah. And also, and I would consistency say consistency will like, just, just yeah. I'm gonna finish. Consistency gets you gets you to the success. Yeah. And this is a great example because you know his Chipotle stuff was yeah. Uh, yeah. blew up. It's not really success. It's just like <laughs> notoriety. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, yeah, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Chipotle, yeah. Chipotle for life. Chipotle for life. That's the message. Yeah. yeah. Chipotle for life. All right, guys. So well, thank you so much for your time and uh, yeah for the thank inspiring you. talk. Fun. All right. Awesome. Thanks.